hello everyone welcome to another tutorial video today we will be talking about installing engine x in your environment either your cloud environment or your home network so if you don't know engine x is a proxy manager tool that you can use um, to manage a proxy hosting in your environment so this tool makes it easy for you to use your single IP address and forward traffic to multiple services running in your cloud or internal or home network in this tutorial we'll be learning how to install engine X proxy manager using Ubuntu 22.04 virtual machine and we'll be installing this using docker compose so Engine X Proxy Manager helps you, like I said, get your uh, web services connected on your network. You can also use it to get a free SSL certificate using Let's Encrypt. And you can use this to expose your private network and web services so you can connect to them anywhere using a single external IP address. Without wasting any more time, we're just going to head over straight and start our installation. So here we have a brand new Ubuntu 22.04 virtual machine and the first thing we need to do as part of installing our engine X is to check for our updates and upgrade on our Ubuntu system for you to do this you can run the command sudo apt update and sudo apt upgrade so I have the commands pasted up in the screen and you're gonna run this and then your Ubuntu system is going to go ahead and check for updates and upgrades for packages. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to install um, some required packages for uh, the Engine X proxy manager. So you're going to want to use the following command. We're going to use the sudo apt install ca certificate curl gnupg and lsb release and then we'll also be installing the nano text editor because that's what i like to use so once you do that and once the installation is complete the next thing we're going to tackle here is try to import the docker official gpg key on our ubuntu system so for us to do this we're going to use the call command and that's why we had to start by installing curl so we're going to use the next command I have pasted on the screen and we're going to run that to import our official GPG key for uh, Docker. So once we do that, we're going to run this other command as part of the call command. And once that's done, we're going to try to update our Ubuntu packages again and try to install the Docker Compose software. So we'll use the command sudo apt update. And then we're going to use the sudo apt install docker and all the components that we need to use docker. So once that command is complete, it may take a while. Just sit back, relax and let it do what it has to do. And once that's done, the next thing we're going to do is create a folder for engine X in our home directory. So I'm just going to pause the video here. And once this is complete, we're going to go ahead and create that folder. So now that this is complete, I will clear and we're going to cd to our home directory using that command. So once we're in our home directory, we want to use the command mkdir, which is um, stands for make directory or we're creating a new directory and we'll call this um, engine x. And once you do that, the next thing you want to do is we want to move our proxy manager folder and create, we want to move into our proxy manager folder and create um, a docker compost.yml file so to do this you're going to cd or change directory into the nginx folder and then we're going to open nano which is or use our favorite text editor nano to create a docker compost.yml file and once you do that you're going to have to paste the text that i have included in the document below into this file so now that we have this document pasted in the file, you can see that we have a whole bunch of configurations in here and I have notes next to them or at the top of them. All these configurations were taken from the engine X proxy manager documentation. So we're just going to go over these um, configurations a little bit before we continue with the installation. We we'll start at the top with the ports. We can see on here that um, 
The ports that we have set, port 8080 and 443, are the public HTTP and HTTPS host that your clients are going to use to initiate the connection with their browser to your engine x proxy manager and then your engine x proxy manager is going to convert or um, proxy that connection to the internal host port 81 is the admin web port so this is a port we're going to use after the installation to configure and set up our settings within the engine x proxy manager you can also add other services such as um, ftp if you wanted to but we don't need this so i'm just going to remove this from our configuration file i just wanted to let that be so you can see that you can add other services by following the configuration parameters by the way i'm going to add the engine x documentation down in the description section below the next thing you want to do is set up your my sql or maria db connection parameters and your db parameters to meet a secure settings that you want to set so i would advise that you change the um, passwords and the usernames for um, your database to meet your environment but since this is just a tutorial and this is a test lab environment i'm just going to leave everything for myself as default you also might want to disable ipv6 if it's not used in your environment if you have ipv6 being used in your environment what you can do is set this to false or completely remove this line the other option i have set here is the x frame options so i have the x frame security header option set to same as origin if you're not concerned about that or if you're, or if you're using cloudflare and you're having cloudflare take care of that then you can remove that option as well so once we're done we're going to go ahead and save this and once we do that now we're going to use the docker command to bring up our docker compose for our nginx uh, manager so once we do that depending on the speed of your linux system this might take some time so just relax and give it some time to complete so once that's complete installing what you want to do now is head over to your favorite browser which in this case it can be chrome or firefox or internet explorer anything else you use um, and you want to head over and try to access the ip address of your ubuntu machine using port um, 81. so in this case i'm going to open a browser and i'm going to type the ip address of my virtual machine so once you input your IP address of your um, Nginx uh, virtual machine, you're going to be provided with a congratulations screen. This means we were successfully able to install our Nginx proxy manager. So in order for us to access our admin console, we're going to have to add 81. And that brings us to our admin console. So the default login and password for this admin console is admin at example.com and the password is change me and once you do that you've successfully been able to install your nginx proxy manager and all you need to do at this stage is change the name and nickname including the email of your admin user for the purposes of this tutorial we're just going to leave that as it is because we can change that later and we're going to just hit cancel so at this point, you have successfully installed your Engine X proxy manager on your Ubuntu system. I hope this video helped you understand to install and I hope I was able to help you in this video to understand and learn how to install the Engine X proxy manager. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please hit the like button and please do not forget to subscribe to the channel. Hey guys, I just want to take this time and introduce you to our Geek Together Hub. Our Geek Together Hub community includes a forum where you can ask questions by creating new posts about questions or doubts that you may face while setting up different services such as Nextcloud, Apache Guacamole, or any other systems that you may be learning how to use. In order for you to create these new questions or posts, all you need to do is head over to forums and select the new post option.
Note it requires a login where to be able to log in you can use your Gmail SSO if you already have a Gmail account or you can register using our registration option if you do not have a Gmail account. This way you can be able to get help from our admins, moderators and other users that can help you and get you the assistance you need as soon as possible. You can also use our search option to search for keywords and similar questions that may have been answered in the past by our admins or moderators that are similar to your situation. Our Geek Together Hub also includes a chat option where you can chat with our admins or moderators and get help instantly when you need them. Please, I highly encourage you to join our community and use it to ask your questions and make comments or share your experiences on the different kind of systems that you are learning to use. Thank you guys and have a wonderful day.